Akuda Beach on Lombok is such a nice beach. Like the water is really blue, there's palm trees everywhere, there's like a boulevard built for loads of people to walk here, but it's just so empty. Like there's no tourists anywhere, it's just locals trying to sell stuff. And there's like a big few restaurants here like a mini market and I honestly just don't understand why it's so empty here and there's no tourists coming to Lombok but everyone just goes to Bali because it's just as beautiful and the people are just as nice and it's just as cheap even cheaper so I don't understand I guess because maybe it's new and it's like you don't know it yet or you don't hear a lot about it yet but it is beautiful and I definitely recommend anyone going to Southeast Asia to go to Lombok um, it's like just as nice as Bali but there's almost no tourists so if you like quiet places quiet beaches for yourself go to Lombok instead of Bali it's beautiful There's a lot of people um, driving on e-bikes here, like electric scooters instead of normal scooters, which is a good thing. Good for the environment. This place is so beautiful and it's so empty. It's crazy. There was a lady selling um, like her sarongs and bracelets on the beach and she asked me where I was from and if I ever went to Indonesia and I said yeah I went to Bali and then she asked like oh is it Bali busy and I said yeah it's really busy like full of tourists and she just said oh they're really lucky like Bali's really lucky to have so many tourists so I think the locals are just really hoping for this island Lombok to get touristic too so they can you know a lot of tourists means a lot of money i guess more money they can sell more stuff they can have um, maybe a bit of a better life if they sell more stuff which would be nice for them and also for us like this is a beautiful island you should definitely come here just us just me sweating my ass off so hot I've missed this and then this is the west side of the Kuta beach in Lombok and as you can see what east side still sorry it's long east side is this still the east side oh well we're going That's towards the west side Like you can see all these, like this is like the beach boulevard, I think. And it's just crazy that there's just no one around here. There's like hardly, well, I mean, we are the only two, two tourists I've seen. So quiet. Like you can actually hear just birds singing and that's it. Like no other people. Just a few locals chilling on the beach and that's it. So weird to see. It's nice though.
Oh no. Really? I don't even know this sign of them. Parcels. This is not the most famous sign. Hmm. So this is like the big, this is a big restaurant uh, next to the beach, the only one. It's not, it's not the only one. Oh really? Oh. It's really nice, it's called Taku Beach. Taku Beach. Taku Beach! We just ordered a, well I ordered a mango juice and he ordered an ice espresso. Look at that, the water here is so blue. I really like it here. And our next beach we're going to is Mawun Beach, which is supposed to be a really beautiful beach and less touristic than this beach, but I can't I don't really believe that because there's literally no one here. So if you want to see beautiful beaches with no tourists go to Lombok instead of Bali because it's literally just Bali without the tourists Hello. Hello. Netherlands oh, maybe later yeah we're just gonna walk around what's your name? Diana Mia? Mia. Mia. Hi, nice to meet you. Uh, I like you. What's 20, your name? Oh no, 30. Hello. 30, 19, 25. What's your name? 20. You beautiful. Oh, thank you. You're beautiful too. You. Beautiful. So pretty. Very hot. It's very hot. Let's start. Thank Do you. This is? What's your name? Oh, flower, yeah. Nice <laughs> Thank you. I'll see you later, yeah? Bye! So, I just arrived at Mawun Beach. Uh, we got a taxi, taxi driver for today to just drive us around to the beaches because we were too lazy to get a scooter and also support the locals. Uh, so we just got out of the taxi to our next beach which is called Maroon Beach and the taxi driver just uh, got us here and he opened the trunk of his car and he got two coconuts out so he gave us two coconuts that he had in the back of his car and this beach is beautiful look at this it's so beautiful the sand is so nice and white it's surrounded by beautiful hills and the water is so blue. Such a beautiful beach. It's like the perfect beach. And there's also a few restaurants here, uh, like sunbeds and umbrellas, if you like that. It's where you can get like fresh drinks and nice foods and stuff. So yeah, this is the second beach in on the Lombok Island and it's a beautiful beach Wa Mawun Mawun Beach Those hills are so beautiful Yeah like, you 
Hey, from within. Sing some Thank Dutch you. TV. No, we don't. We have English. Hoi, ik ben Avril Lavigne. Ho, hello, I'm Avril Lavigne. Loads of cows on this beach. Lovely cows. So beautiful. Really insane that there's almost no tourists on Lombok Island. Don't get it. Where are all the tourists? In the town. We just got two sun beds for 100,000, yeah. which is like five euros. And it's okay for the whole day. We're not going to stay here the whole day, but you can keep them for the whole day. Uh, it was like the first price he mentioned, 100,000. So we probably could have get them for less but we're just too tired <laughs> to drive a scooter or to how do you say that Haggle. to Haggle. haggle today so yeah <laughs> 100,000 look at how beautiful this beach is yes look at how beautiful this beach is and there's like five other tourists just on the beach over there taking photos and that's it like there's no one here it's such a beautiful beach but there's no one here and on the whole island like the, there's like every beautiful place you go to there's hardly any tourists just locals trying to sell stuff obviously but Lombok is such a nice island and everyone always complains about there's too many tourists everywhere. Well, go to Lombok if you don't want to. If you want to go to see beautiful places, but you hate tourists, even though you're a tourist yourself, go to Lombok. Tiny beach over there. Surf with all these boats here. No, we just arrived on, at Selong Balanak Beach, which is the most touristic beach we've been to so far. As you can see behind me, there's like a lot of uh, restaurants and sun beds and umbrellas, but also a lot of tourists over here. And there are a lot of restaurants here, so. I think it's easier to chill over here if you're hungry or just want like to be served all day. Um, the beach is huge. Look at this. So this is the that's the start, and then there's like a big beach, and then there it ends, and then around there's like loads of restaurants and sun beds and umbrellas and there were just two guys walking up to us uh, two locals that work here that uh, give surfing lessons so if you want to surf this is basically the beach to go to uh, in Lombok there must be like even way more beaches and maybe better beaches than this one to learn how to surf but there are a lot of surf uh, schools here and teachers if you want to learn how to surf or if you already can surf and you want to surf all the people laying on the surfboard oh look 
there's a few standing up. That's good. I mean, I couldn't do it. I tried to surf twice in my life and I don't do it. It's just not for me, but it's really cool if you can surf. I wish I could surf. So we're just gonna wander around now and yeah, wander around and have some food later. So yeah, see you later. Also, if you Google this beach, uh, they say there is buffaloes on this beach and we haven't seen them yet, but I hope we're gonna see some buffaloes on this beach. That would be cool. But you just have to find them, but that's not hard because they're huge. Maybe they're sleeping in the fields now. I don't know. If I see them, I will film them. I will vlog. I will vlog. <laughs> Thunder! So we just sat down at this restaurant, which is called Laut Biru Bar and Restaurant, and we just ordered two rendang. It's a very expensive restaurant for in if these are like not Indonesian prices, like more like for the tourists, but it's probably gonna be delicious. Um, from here the view is amazing. Just look at those hills. It's beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. And I love the bean bags and the umbrellas. Definitely 100% made for tourists over here. It's really pretty, but it's not really Indonesian. It's not like a wedding or something, just a restaurant for tourists, which I am. Okay, we're just gonna wait for our food to come. This is the food, it looks delicious. <laughs> that looks beautiful. A how do how do I call that? Fan. A fan to keep the flies away. Perfect. Perfect while I enjoy my delicious meal. Really? really? Yeah. Is it hot? It's spicy. Spicy. Uh, yeah, we moved inside because it's probably gonna rain. Oh my god, that is delicious. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh my god, this is really spicy for me. So it's so delicious. It is spicy. It is spicy, right? It's spicy. It's pretty good. It's so good. I mean, it's spicy than that plain chicken bone that you had. Delicious. So good. That meal was delicious, but it was so spicy. I'm sweating. Don't you think it was so spicy? <laughs> He's laughing at me because... So there is a sunset here at this beach, the waiter just told us, and it's um, at six. And he told us it's going to be just behind these mountains, so it's probably going to be beautiful. So we have time to see the sunset.
walked all the way down to the end of the beach and it's so beautiful here. People are fishing, the sun is gonna go down behind, behind these mountains soon. And you can see like beautiful rocks over here and I think we can walk over these rocks and like go to another beach that is like like a private little secret beach. So we're gonna try. like a tiny little beach there. Okay, I was totally wrong. I can't get to the beach which is behind there. There's like a tiny little private beach over there, which I can't get to either, but it's beautiful. Look at this view. So pretty, people fishing here, beautiful mountains, beautiful rock. These waves are so big and powerful. Probably that's why no one is in the water right now. Look at that. That could probably easily kill you. We're just gonna walk back and then hopefully we see some buffaloes during the sunset because the waiter from the restaurant told us there's gonna be buffaloes on the beach during sunset, which is weird. It's like a show, maybe. <laughs> I hope we'll see them. I've never seen a buffalo on the beach. That would be cool. Maybe go swimming. Maybe you will surf. Who knows? <laughs> I'm sober. Yes, you are. It has a beautiful sunset at Salon Bellinock Beach on Lombok Island. It's really nice. It's so beautiful. People are serving, there's like nice restaurants behind me with music, not too much music, and the view is just amazing. So if you want to watch the sunset, go to Salon Bellinock Beach. If you want to watch the sunset with some restaurants and some beds and stuff. So beautiful. I want to stay for the sunset. Yeah. 